Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Miss V here, y'all. I got some light today. I decided I was gonna do this um get ready with me. Get ready with me over because I realized that video was dark and I did not like the video, but I still uploaded it anyway. But oh well. I'm just showing y'all that you can do better. But anyway, so I'm gonna um redo this get ready with me because I really like this palette and I realize y'all can really see my makeup. But thank you. To everyone who did have the little positive comments, I appreciate. But we're gonna redo this thing. So I've already um did my eyebrows and got my moisturizer on. Now I'm getting ready to prime my eye. And this is not a tutorial. Just get ready with me. I'm gonna prime my eye with this um physician's formula. So how y'all doing today? And another <laughs> reason for this video is Miss V came on here to let y'all know that Miss V done messed up. Yeah, I come on here and um, share positive things with you all and show you the good thing. But Miss V is so transparent and um, real that I'm going to come on here and tell you that I done messed up. I did something I shouldn't have done. And I'm going to tell you what to do when you done something you shouldn't have done. When you allow the enemy to use you. Especially when you know better. I knew better. But he still, he still slips in. So, this is what I did. I was at my part-time job, and we had a situation with a patient or whatever. Anyway, long story short, Miss V did exactly what the pastor told us not to do. Do not make decisions when you are emotional. Do not make decisions when you are emotional, people. Do not say things when you are emotional. Miss V said something that hurt somebody's feeling, and guess what I had to do? I had to go to the person. I ain't going to say I had to. I chose to go to the person. Well, it was suggested that I go to the person. <laughs> Y'all, let me be I'm real. It was suggested that I go to the person. You know, and apologize because I did hurt the person's feeling. Okay, so me being the person I am, I'm all for people apologizing, but I don't believe I, I don't like when people say that they didn't mean to say something or whatever because you did mean to say it because you said it. So my apology was: this is what you do when you apologize to somebody and you sincere. I went to the young lady and told her that I meant to say what I said, but the intent behind it was not to hurt your feeling. Pause. See, that's why you have to be careful because whatever your intent is don't matter. If it hurt the person's feeling, it still hurt their feeling. That's why we can't say things when we are emotional people. I kind of encourage y'all, baby. I got to start practicing what I preach. I do practice what I preach, but every now and then, that enemy, he'll slip in, baby. But if God allowed him to slip in, it's going to be for your benefit. So, well, I learned something from this. is to, um, when you're emotional, don't say anything. Just relax. And let God deal with it. But no, I'm going to go run my mouth, whatever. So, anyway, I said something that hurt the, the lady feeling. And like I told her, I said, I'm not going to lie to you. I said it. I'm not going to say I didn't say it, but I apologize for how it made you feel, and I'm asking for your forgiveness, and she told me that she had forgiven me once I said it, because she said she didn't really understand why I said it, so that, that further lets me know the, 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 um, I allowed the enemy in, and so I asked the lady, you know, could I hug her, and she gave me a hug, and she said, it's fine, she, you, you know, but it ain't fine, I hurt the lady feelings, so I came on here to tell y'all, uh, we can't make decisions when we emotional, y'all. I can't really let y'all know Miss V still messes up. Miss V still had her Bible study. We still steady. We still growing together, but we still in this thing together. So Miss V messes up just like everybody else. That's why I came on here to tell y'all. So anyway, so every time that lady see me, you know, even though she said she forgave me, she don't think about what I said. So I got to live with that. So I just pray, just ask the Lord to just help me, you know, um, to just help me to... Um, what did I ask him to do? <laughs> ask the Lord to, to, um, to help me to be able to show his light and not, and not let it be so much about me and what I want to say to people. You know what I'm saying? So every time I see this lady, so this is something I got to deal with because of my mouth. So every time I see the lady, she going to think of what I say. Though we're going to be cordial to each other because we at work, we professionals, but she going to think about what I said. And I'm going to think about what I said. So that's just consequences of your actions, people. So that's what I came on here to tell y'all. And I'm going to redo this, get ready with me. But 
I, my, my apology was sincere. I asked her to forgive me because, I, like I told her, I said it, but I shouldn't have said it. That's a difference than saying, I didn't mean to say it. Yeah, you meant to say it. I meant to say it. I meant to say it. But had I known the consequences of what I was saying, I wouldn't have said it. That's what we. That's the thing. Once those words come out your mouth, like the Bible said, the the um, tongue is a um, two edged sword. Just like I said, it, I can't take them words back. So I just have to live with it. But I'm at peace because I have asked her to forgive me, and I was sincere when I asked her to forgive me. So you know, I'm through with that. So you know, it's it's it happened to let me know that I need to just get someone to sit down and hush. Don't be so quick to say stuff just because you feel a certain way. You can't do that, and you can't just go around and hurt people's feelings. I am not here to tear people down, but your words can tear people down. So, you know, I would I wouldn't have liked it if she would have said that said that to me. I didn't say it to her. I said it to someone else, and she happened to hear me put it like that. That's even worse, I guess. But anyway, Miss Vita messed up, and this is how you rectify a situation. Don't let it fester. I went right. I went immediately and apologized to her. So. Hopefully that helped by me going ahead and apologize like hours after it happened. Instead of festering, letting it linger and linger and linger. Yeah. And when you go apologize to people, don't act like they have to forgive you. They should forgive you, but they may not forgive you. That's the chance you're going to have to take. So she said she forgave me when I said it because she just said, like she said, she, me, me and this lady had never even worked together. So that just let, ooh, I, I'm so mad at myself. I can take my foot and kick my own, you know what. For allowing the devil to uh, use me. But anyway, something good going to come out of it because it further lets me know I need to be more calm and watch what I say. Because I'm not here to tear anybody down. Even the people who are ugly to me. So anyway, that's it. That's my um, testimony for the day, y'all. Take whatever you need to take from it. And just know that Miss V is still working on herself. Even though she's coming on here encouraging y'all, God, he's still working on me too, baby. He's still working on me. So we finna redo this um Halo Eye so y'all can actually see it this time. So this is the beautiful palette I'm going to be using again. This is the Juvia's Place. I think this is a black-owned makeup company. I just saw somebody on YouTube um use it one day, and I just said I like it. And I told my sister I like it. She told me she would give it for me for Christmas. Thank you, sister. I appreciate it. So anyway, so that's it, y'all. Be careful what you say, because you can't get them words back. So, anyway, this is what we're finna use. So, this is going to be my train. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to use this this one right here for my transition code. It's called Bintu. B-I-N-T-O-U. So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to use my little mirror so y'all can see what I'm doing. I got my little brush. And I'm just going to um put it on there like a like you do a windshield, like you like windshield wiper. Just blend it in. Oh yeah, you can see that. Finally got some light. But anyway, y'all, I am gonna invest in me a uh, something, some type of light. Uh, a nice lamp or something. Or a ring light. I'll just see. Cause y'all know me be on the budget. But anyway, what y'all doing today? I got a lot going on today. I got one day off, y'all. Again, but my next schedule next month, I'm gonna have two days off. So we already talked about this. So just bling, bling, bling. And let's see what I'm put on my eyelids. So. I'm going to try this angelic on my eyelids today, y'all. Yeah, right there. That one. Mm. Yeah, y'all, and the sad thing about it, it looked like the lady had been crying. I was like, Lord, I done messed up. I just said, hello, I help me help your child. But she done messed up. But anyway, the lady was sincere. You got to tell when um people really forgive you. Yeah, she was sincere. She was glad I said it, too. I was glad to see it. 
I ain't, I was I was bold enough to say it. I'm bold enough to go ask for forgiveness. I certainly ain't. Uh, Miss V is not on here acting like she don't mess up, because I do. But I'm going to have to do better. And then I may not ever see that woman again, but it's still, the fact still remains. So. So I like this. <sighs> so anyway, if y'all been watching my channel, y'all see I'm participating in a lot of challenges. I really like the challenges. But the hardest part is watching watching the whole playlist. And I watch the whole yeah, I, I watch I actually watch the whole playlist. Because that's the purpose of me uh, one of the purposes of me um doing the challenges is get to know different people and to um get different ideas. Ooh, I like this. So, that's going to be my look for the day. My husband ended up playing his little game. He loved that PlayStation 4. So, that's his little hobby. Then he's going to work this evening. Then I'm going to go run some errands. I think like I do better running errands when he's not here. But when he's here, I guess we be trying to spend time together. It's good to actually marry somebody you like. <laughs> I'm just saying, for real. I mean, I can say that because I married somebody before for the wrong reason. You know, this is my second marriage, y'all. So this time I got married because I want to be married. First time I got married because I didn't want to move back home with my mom. Keep it real. You know me, V. I'm keep it real. I can't do nothing but keep it real. That's the only way to be. So many fake, it's so much fake stuff out there. We got we to gotta balance this fake stuff off with realness. But anyway, this is my look. Nice and simple. Some people like to blend and blend. The more you blend, the better it's going to look. Because you don't want you don't want someone to be able to see where the, the, um, the ash out on your lid right here meets that. You want to kind of blend in together. So I'm learning about makeup as I go, cause baby, as I told y'all when I first started putting makeup on, ooh, it was looking a bit. But now I love it. So that's my little eyelid. I ain't doing nothing major today. Get all pretty up just to go get these folks all out my money that I owe them. So this my um mascara. I'm using the Mega Plump by Wet and Wild. And what I did was wrote the date on here when I opened the mascara up so I know. Because I think you're only supposed to keep it three three to four months. So that's what I do now. Now you know I'm getting serious. I'm writing dates down. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready. But um, Miss V just came on here to tell y'all to um just be careful, you know, when you get emotional. Be logical when you make a statement. Unlike Miss V, I was, it was an irrational statement I made that hurt somebody's feeling. And yes, I do feel bad about it. But I have prayed about it and I'm calm, you know, my, I got a calm spirit about it because I did go ask her for forgiveness and I was sincere in doing it. That's all we can do, people, and just try to do better. So this is Miss V. Stay tuned. I'll um, insert a picture that you can actually see this time. And this is Miss V. Continue to show you love and encourage you. Even though she's still messing up. But I'm still going to show you love and encourage you. And I'm always helping you save on some of the things you need to get some of the things you want. Thank you and have a nice day.